I decided since I was changing and looking at the Phalaenopsis that I transitioned into LECA, I thought I'd look at the Dendrobium Fowl that I also transitioned into LECA um, about a couple of days later. So this has only been since the 6th of June, but I have two of these uh, simply because what happened is I got it and I repotted it and it split in two. I have one that is in mainly bark and a little bit of moss. And then this one I decided to put into Lekka to see how it is doing. And surprisingly enough, we have a new growth. Do you see it? Pretty cool stuff there. So I thought, well, I took the Phalaenopsis out. So let me take this one out, take off all the dead roots and position her a little more into the center because with this new growth coming here, there's potential for it to grow on this side. And then this way she has plenty of room to grow. This one here, let me move this. This one here is actually her latest growth that she made. And I was expecting a new growth off of it. So when I saw the new growth off the oldest bulb on here, I was rather surprised. So this has the potential to also produce a new growth. So I wanna be able to give both, both stalks or canes the opportunity to grow and mature and get huge. So also I did have a little bit of moss on that as well. But I don't think I'm going to add the moss on there this time because I don't think she really needs it. And I'm going to put it in a different uh, setup. I'm going to put it in a smaller container just to see. Oh, look at those beautiful roots. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. All right. Well, there are no roots that need to be cut off, I don't think. Let me just double check. Oh, there's one right there. Let me take that off. Yep, there's one there. Make sure I've cut it off into the right spot. Let's see. There it is. All right, and then let's just check these other ones real quick just to make sure. Looks like there might be one or two more down here. Yep, there's one there. And I've said it in past videos, guys, but get yourself some Fiskars because this way you can really get into those little tight spots without cutting what you're not trying to cut. I'm telling you these things are great. All right, there's another one right here. So I guess there were more than initially appeared, but not that many not as many as I was expecting actually um, that one's still a little firm but he looks yucky so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of him because she's got enough on there to support her and then with that new growth it'll be producing roots here shortly as well because this one here after the growth gets to be about about an inch quarter of an inch uh, it'll start producing its roots so that is great and then I chose this pink plastic pot because the flowers on this have a dark pink tinge to them. So I think that look really great together. But overall, oh my goodness, those roots, I cannot get over the roots. I'm just staring at them like, oh my goodness. And look how it's already attached itself to the LECA wrapping around. That is gonna be great. Yeah, that'll still give it enough if this one decides to grow and then this one, if I put it in the center. All right, so let's get our party started. I'm just gonna set you right in there. And then this Leka also has a little bit of charcoal in it. Don't know why I added it. I think it was just more for an experiment type thing. But let's do this so we can get our wick to, to float. And yes, this is the outer rim that I'm going to use. I just think it's going to look so pretty in here. If I can get to, oh my goodness, if I can get to the, let me use this to pick it up. There we go. Come on. There we go. And then let's some leka at the bottom and then we've got to fish out our there we go all right now let's put our baby girl back in here put that stick on that side and phalaenopsis dendrobiums do like to dry out a little bit in between watering so with this one what i've been doing pour some of this water out i've got way too much in there now what i've been doing is i let the reservoir dry let her drink up all the water and then i leave the reservoir dry for about a day or so and then i'll just 
add some more water in. And I do the same thing with her that I've been doing with the Phalaenopsis as far as the feeding goes. Um, one feed may have CalMag, one feed will have the MSU fertilizer, and then there's nothing, just plain distilled water. And then I've just been rotating that back and forth, and it seems to be working pretty good for both of them, actually. So I'm going to continue doing that. And again, neither this one nor my Phalaenopsis is showing any signs of any kind of a deficiency yet. And of course, I know it's been pretty early, so it may show itself later, but I will be also adding probably a silicone soak probably next year. I don't think I need to do it this year. Um, just let them kind of transition themselves this year, and then next year I'll add that silicone soak just to kind of help them out. But for now, the CalMag and the MSU fertilizer back and forth and along with flushes of just plain distilled water seem to be working just fine for her as well as for the Phalaenopsis. There we go. I see now why Nina does this outside because water gets everywhere. Okay, make sure I don't bury the, the new growth at all, but making sure that Get a couple of these smaller ones in here to help secure the stake in there. And again, if you guys do grow in semi hydro or full hydroponics, let me know what some tips you have for me so that I can continue to have success because this might just be beginner's luck and the, the bad stuff's going to happen here shortly which will be very upsetting, of course, but for now, we've got it. All right, so let me just pour a lot of this water out. Let me set her down. Table's already soaking wet. And then what I have at the bottom of here is just um, aquarium, little aquarium pebbles. So, and I did that to help kind of have the pot sit up a little bit higher for airflow through to have that little opening around because otherwise she would have sat all the way in and would have been completely tight and I know with the LECA there's airflow in there and it allows air but I'm just kind of paranoid a little bit and I want to make sure that I get that in there that there's also airflow coming out of the pot there she is so hopefully this one will go ahead and mature and give us a bloom. And then we will check on this one again in a couple of months and see how things are going. Now, I'm not going to tag it as a repot today just because I did put her in the same, same setup as she came out of. I just kind of down potted her from the larger pot into this little smaller pot. And we will see what she does. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you on the next one.